So if we try to run this game right now, it's going to say all compiler errors have to be fixed before you can enter play mode, which can be really, really frustrating to see, especially if you've been following a tutorial and you're certain you've been doing everything right. So the very first thing to do is look in the console, which will show you what your errors are. Now, it, this might not you might not uh, know what these things mean right off the bat, but you can see what they mean, or you can see what they say. So the first thing it says is it's an unexpected symbol missile. And I can see by following the file path that it's in my enemy.cs script, which shows up over here, and it's showing it's happening at line 54. Now I can manually go into monodevelop and I can scroll down to line 54 and I can see what's going on over here. Uh, oh, it's actually showing probably the line after, but I can see that right over here, uh, I'm missing a semicolon. So you can just put a semicolon in and save your file and rerun it. And it's still not going to work because I didn't fix the other error yet. But that's okay. You see that one error disappeared here. Now, there's a couple of ways I could figure out what this means. Uh, number one, what is a parsing error? Well, a parsing error, again, means that I'm, I've done something wrong with my syntax. So there's a couple of ways to fix this. Uh, number one, hit Control F or Command F on your keyboard and check your brackets to see if you have the right number of them showing up. So I'm going to start by looking at my left uh, curve bracket. It says I have 19 of 50, or I have, I have 56, and if I do the closing bracket, I also have 56. So I know I have the right amount of brackets. Now, if I do the uh, squiggly brackets, the code brackets, it shows I have 21 opening, and I only have 20 closing. So I see that I'm missing a closing curly bracket thanks to the Control F feature. Now, I again, I could scroll through here and I could look for it. Uh, but if I go back to Unity, I can also just double click this error and it will take me right to the line of code that's causing the problem. Uh, usually it will anyways. <laughs> but I can see here, there, there's a couple of ways of seeing what you're doing wrong. Number one is you should see, uh, in some cases you might see uh, the lines following where the error is red and underlined. Now this might not always show up for whatever reason, but I can see here that uh, by clicking, it took me right to the bottom, which is where this if statement is. And that's because if I look at this and if I put my mouse over at this opening curly bracket, uh, it's the closing matching corresponding one is down here, which means that basically I'm missing a closing curly bracket for my if statement. So if I just add one here and save the file and go back to Unity, rerun it, it should run, no problem. All the errors have been cleared up and I can go ahead and play my space Jupiter game. Uh, that's basically all there is to fixing 90% of your beginner errors, which are most likely going to be syntax related. So once again, check the console. You can look to see where the, uh, it will show you the line numbers of where the error is, or you can just double click those messages. And if all else fails, you can hit control F and you can check to see if you have the right number of opening and closing brackets for both types. Uh, Hopefully that helps solve some issues. If you like this, uh, let me know. If you have any questions, let me know. And don't forget to subscribe for more videos. Thanks very much for watching.